Hey Katie, what month is it? And um, what year is this favorites video for? I'm sorry, we're you talking to me? Hey guys, all jokes aside, I hope you guys still want to see this video. I didn't do one last year, so I kind of feel like I have to do one this year because I just really love all these products. Some of them have um, been carried over from 2015 even, so hopefully you guys find this helpful, informative, just somewhat entertaining. Um, so without further ado, let's get started because this is going to be a long video. So grab a snack, actually. Pause. Go go grab a snack, get some coffee, let's do this. Okay, so I don't have products for every category exactly, but I do have multiples for some. These are honestly just my true favorites of the year. So let's start. I'm going to go in order of the uh, application of my face. <laughs> so, <laughs> was that? Okay. I have two foundations for you here. The first one is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I also have the serum one, but I prefer this one. Um, I love this stuff. This is like my go-to everyday foundation because it is... Um, it feels lighter weight than I would say most American foundations do. This is not available here in the U.S., um, but you can get this on Amazon at a really reasonable price. I have the shade 52 Vanilla. This does have a strong fruity scent, which I really love, but I know if you're sensitive to scents, that might be a turnoff for you. I would say this is a solid medium coverage foundation. Again, I just love how lightweight it is. This claims to have 16 hour wear. I don't know if I would say that. I wouldn't say this is like the most long wearing foundation ever, but as far as every day goes, I love this. My other foundation pick for the year is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. This has been around for years. I've briefly talked about this before, but I just had never tried it. Um, this is really inexpensive. I'd say the formula is similar, at least from what I remember, to the Revlon Color Stay. However, this is about half the price. The only downside to this foundation, honestly, is the fact that it doesn't have a pump. Like, that's pretty much the only thing I would say that I don't like about this. This has a solid medium finish. You could probably even get it up to full coverage if you wanted to. Um, I don't think this is heavy, a bit heavier than this one, just because this is so lightweight, but um, comfortable on the skin. It does say this has comfort serum, whatever that means. It also has SPF 20. I definitely recommend both of these. They're fantastic. I do have a CC cream as well. It is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus. Your Skin But Better Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum Plus SPF 50 UVA UVB Broad Spectrum Physical Sunscreen Chemical Filter Free Paraben Free There's a lot of words on these packaging... Packagings? Packages? Oh lord. I do have to mix two shades because their shade range is lacking, I have to say that. But I have fair and I have light. Fair is very, very fair and light I would say is closer to a medium tone. So just... You have to try them definitely in store to see what they're like. But this feels like putting lotion on your skin and at the same time it gives coverage. Now some people have said that this is full coverage. I would never say that. I would say it is definitely light to medium. You can get a solid medium coverage out of it, but definitely not full coverage on my face. But it's just so comfortable. Again, that SPF 50 is fantastic for the summer. I really appreciate just how easy this is to apply as well because like it is, it feels like lotion. So it just blends in really well. So love these. We're going to be kind of going in an IT Cosmetics little spot here. This is their Bye Bye Under Eye. You can tell how much I love it based on the fact that all the wording is worn off of this thing. This is the shade Neutral Medium and I love this because it totally erases my under eye circles which you guys know I have insomnia so my circles are just a permanent fixture on my face. I love this stuff. It is um, thicker and tackier. Some people may not like that but if you set it, it won't budge. It stays. You need the, the littlest bit. I mean the tiniest bit to cover the under eyes and I just think this is going to last forever. I think it's totally worth it. I love, love this stuff. And I'm wearing it today. By the way, I am wearing the Rimmel foundation today as well. Moving into bronzers, I have three. I couldn't narrow it down. I love them all for different reasons. So the first one is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Now I know they only have two shades. They're both fairly light. I am light, so <laughs> these work for me. They work especially well for me when I am even lighter. Like right now it's winter, even though my camera makes me look like a ghost, but I promise I am not that light. But this works really well for just a natural glow. This also has like some type of, I, I don't want to say shimmer, it doesn't have shimmer in it, but it has a satin finish, so it definitely gives your skin an even like glowier appearance. 
The next one is Benefits Hula. It is the bronzer I'm wearing today. I just think everybody has to try this and I think everybody will love it. The tone of this is just perfect. It's not muddy, it's not too red, it's not ashy, it's just Oh, it's so good and the formula is perfect. It blends really nicely. I don't love the whole box packaging. I think it's bulky and I think sometimes it can be a little bit inconvenient to stick a brush in the like depth of this box. But other than that, this powder is so good. And lastly, another It Cosmetics product here. This is the Sunshine in a Compact. First of all, this thing is gigantic and will last you forever. This one is the most red-toned of the three, but I wouldn't say it looks like red on the face. This is great when I am tanner, so I use this one during the summer. I feel like it really brings out um, the warm tones, you know, when you have a natural tan. And I just think this is great, and again, it's going to last forever. As far as brows go, I love my NYX Tame and Frame Pomade, um, but I would have to say my favorite brow thing of the year was just the soap brow technique. If you haven't heard of it, just feel free to search just soap brow tutorial or soap brows and a ton of videos will pop up. But basically you just use soap as kind of um, a brow wax substitute essentially. So it's really inexpensive and it really holds your brows in place. So that's my brow favorite of the year. Moving on to a contouring product. This is, <laughs> you can also tell it's been well loved as all the words are gone. This is from Catrice Cosmetics, sold at Ulta. This is the Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette. I have the shade 10 Ashy Radiance, and clearly I love the contouring side. I don't really play with the highlight too much. It's very subtle, it's not bad, but very subtle. This is the perfect contouring tone. I'm using it today. I've been looking for a replacement of my Holy Grail NYX Taupe Blush, which they discontinue that whole line. And I do have to say, I think this is my new favorite. This. I have been using every single day since I got it, which I think it's been, it's been like half a year I want to say, and I just love this stuff. It blends beautifully, it applies beautifully, uh, I just love it, it's a great tone. I have two blush favorites here, one drugstore, we have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rosé Champagne, this is one of the new shades this year, and this is my go-to. I've been wearing it today, and it's just so neutral but it has a nice golden warmth to it as well. Because I have lighter skin, I have to be very careful with blushes just because it can go overboard very, very quickly. And this one is kind of a no-brainer. You don't really have to worry too much about this tone because it is just very foolproof, I would say. And the other one is probably my favorite blush of all time. I love this thing so much. This is the Becca Mineral Blush in Flower Child. Oh, you guys, this has replaced um, NARS Deep Throat for me. And this is looking like super bright on camera, but it's just a very, I have a lot, mm, <laughs> find your words, Katie. I have a lot of peachy pink blushes with like a golden shimmer in them. Like I have probably five different blushes that I would categorize that way. But this one is my favorite because it is so beautiful on the cheeks. It just gives you a very natural glow. It also gives the hint of color as well. It can be built up if need be, but it can also just very sheerly um, brighten up the face. I love this blush. Like, I love it so much. This year was the year of the highlight purchasing for me. I had not really been a big highlighter person until this past year, and I narrowed it down to one. I love all of my highlights, but I picked one. It's the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Illuminator in Gilded Honey. When I bought this, I was worried it was going to be too dark for my skin tone, but I am wearing it today, and I don't think it is. I think it makes my skin look really glowy. Um, I do love the golden tone. I feel like if you are fairer than I am, though, but like I said, my camera makes me look like a ghost, but um, if you are fair, fair, I probably wouldn't use this unless it's yourself tanned or like during the summer or something, but I love the formula of this as well. Some people complain that this is too small for the price, but I don't see myself working through this ever because you don't need a lot at all. So I really love this, highly recommend at least watching it because oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so let's move on to eyes. I do not have a favorite palette this year, but I do have a few um, single eyeshadows. Now if you didn't see my top 10 single eyeshadows video, go check that out. I'm going to speak very, very briefly about these because I did go a little bit more in depth in that video. But the first one, like I said in that video, should be no, no surprise to any of you if you've been watching me. This is the, oh that sounded creepy if you've been watching me. This is ColourPop's Get Lucky. I love this. It is what I'm wearing on my lid and on the inner lower lash line right now. This is the perfect gold. I am 
absolutely obsessed with this gold and I don't use that term lightly my friends this is just phenomenal if you like gold even in the slightest you need this it's beautiful I just oh it's perfect it's perfect the next one is probably one of my favorite makeup products in my entire collection in any category this is Makeup Geek's Hologram Pigment. This is a duochrome pigment that is so stunning. Again, go watch that video. You can see the swatch of it. It's just so... Well, actually, I'll probably put a swatch here, too. But it's so beautiful. It shifts from a peachy, corally tone to a yellowy green. It's just so bright. It brings a lot of light to the eyes. And just, it's a really, really cool color to work with. I love this stuff. And lastly for shadow is this Makeup Geek quad that I kind of take whenever I go anywhere. It makes any look kind of complete for me. So, so these tones may look a little bit boring, but it's Peach Smoothie, Creme Brulee, Frappe, and Cocoa Bear. They're all matte. I use them in my crease, pretty much in that order. I just think they warm up any look very beautifully. I love Makeup Geek shadows. They blend really nicely. I just... Oh, I think that's Sophie's vet. Sorry about that, I've been waiting to talk to Sophie's vet for um, a couple days now, but anyway. What I was saying is that I did recently get a Makeup Geek order in. Um, I don't know if that video has gone up yet or not, so these favorites may change pretty quickly, but I just love Makeup Geek in general. I think the shadows are very good quality for a really reasonable price. Let's go on to an eyeliner. So this is the Girlactic Precise Eyeliner Marker. This I actually got in a boxy charm, and dude, this stuff is so good. This is like the best eyeliner I've ever tried. Okay, now, I've been using mine for a long time, so it's starting to dry out, but this is so black, so opaque. It glides on. One of the things that's kind of like a liquid eyeliner test for me is if it glides completely opaque over my eyeshadow. I have some that are like very sheer over my eyeshadow, and I, I'm not down with that. This is great. It is a felt tip, which I actually prefer over a brush tip. I just think this is so easy to use, and I just love it. This is available, um, I believe, at Rite Aid now, which is where Girlactic is, but oh, this is so, so good. This next product I don't use on a daily basis, definitely not, but I absolutely love it and highly recommend it. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner, which these have been talked about a lot this year, but I picked my favorite shade because I've used this in multiple videos. This is the shade Distortion, and nobody talks about this one. They talk about like the classic gold and silver. Why not this one? This is the coolest one. This looks awesome because it is like an iridescent glitter, so it shifts like a bluish green. It can also shift a pinky purple just depending on how you use it. It's very versatile. I think this is a, such a cool glitter. If you haven't heard of these, which I don't, I don't know how you couldn't have at this point, these are the easiest way to use glitter. I'm one to steer very clear of loose glitters just because I, I'm scared to use them on my eyes. I love pigments, but glitter is a different story. This you can apply it all over your lid. You can use it as an actual liner. You can do like a cool artistic look with this glitter because the tip of the brush is fine enough that you can really place it wherever you want very precisely. This glitter does not budge. It's not gonna flake off your eyes. It's not gonna fall in your eyes. It's also very easy to remove. It removes just as easy as like any eyeshadow would, in my opinion. I have had no problems with this stuff. I really, really love it. If you love glitter, but find it a bit troublesome, or if you want to try glitter, but are afraid, kind of like I am, to use loose glitter, this is the way to go. This is so good, and it doesn't sting my eyes ever. And I just love this shade. Oh, it's awesome. Okay, and lastly for eyes, I did want to mention a pair of lashes. I don't have a pair with me right now because they did get lost. <laughs> Literally, I put them on top of like my moisturizer, and then the next time I looked, they were just gone. It was like a matter of minutes. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But anyway, they are the Ardell number no. 122s. I discovered them sometime in 2016. Really, I purchased them on a whim, and I ended up really loving them. They are less voluminous than the 120s, which was like my, my ride or die type lashes for filming. So they're a lot longer overall, and they're thinner. So like I said, less voluminous. But I just feel like they really give my eyes like just a very awake, <laughs> open, bright look to them, and I like them. They're definitely not natural, but I just think they look really great. So those are my new favorite filming lashes. 
Okay, to wrap up this video, I do have my lip product favorites. I do have a lip balm that I have talked about before, but I just have to reiterate how freaking fantastic this is. It's the Nivea A Kiss of Olive Oil and Lemon lip balm. Now, I do love the whole A Kiss of line, except for the milk and honey one. Is that what it is? I don't like that one. This one reminds me of iced tea. Like it... <laughs> not... not... The, not iced tea as in the actor iced tea like the beverage because <laughs> that's something I needed to explain but it smells so good the olive oil name really worried me at first but this is my second one like that's how much I love this stuff it is so moisturizing I apply it every night and it just I love this whole line but this one smells really really good I love it I do also apply this right when I start my makeup so that at the end of it when I'm gonna do my lips um, they're all nice and ready next I have a lip liner this is from Jordana this is their easy liner for lips line in the shade rock and rose I am wearing this under a liquid lipstick two liquid lipsticks today this has just the perfect tone for me it is very close to um, my natural lip color so it does have a rosiness to it but it's also kind of like a pinkish nude very simple um, no frills really but it is a great liner it's retractable so you don't have to worry about sharpening it I just really like it and I use it all the time like nearly every day next up should be no surprise to you guys this is Lolita I love this thing this is my favorite lip color Ever, I think I am wearing it all over my lips but I also did add a tad of bow and arrow in the middle which technically I didn't use until 2017 but I love love bow and arrow as well have to give it a shout out but this if I was wearing like any kind of rosy nude color this is probably what I was wearing I, I can't even tell you I use this like 90% of 2016 I think like I'm not kidding and this is still my first tube so a little goes a long way actually a lot of people think that this is drying the way I apply it though is I put my lip balm I have a lip liner and then I put this on top which I know liquid lipsticks are supposed to be like a one and done type of product but for me comfort wise the other steps help so I definitely recommend this I think it is a very flattering color and I'm so excited to try the new shades in her like extended nude um, liquid lipstick line. Like, ugh, I'm all about that. But this is classic favorite. Okay, last product of the video. This is ColourPop's Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Two Lips. When I first tried this on, I really didn't know what to think about it because it is like a purpley brown color. Again, I know I've said this before, but I described it as a violet chocolate which sounds like a strange description but I feel that it's actually pretty accurate this is a deep vampy shade without being super super dark like I would say this is very fall appropriate although I'll wear it any time of year but when I want to wear a dark lip but I don't want to go super dark this this is the one <laughs> I do love this. I will say I don't love the satin formula as much as everybody else seems to because of the fact that it, for me anyway, it doesn't seem to dry down completely. There's always like a slight bit of transfer, which isn't a problem, but I just feel like the claims of this product don't really meet um, my expectations, I guess, or actually my experience doesn't meet their claims. But I stew. I stew. I still really love it. It's definitely one of my favorite products. I wear it all the time, so I had to mention it. That is it for my 2016 beauty favorites. Now, before you go, I did want to ask if you guys were interested in my like random 2016 favorites. So I would include skincare, hair care, fashion, um, music, TV, anything like that, that would go in that video. So if you would like to see that one, do leave me a comment below and let me know. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I got everything. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.